It's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows on your Macintosh. So, a um, few requirements. You need to have a Windows 7 legitimate disk. And second, you are going to need your Mac OS X Snow Leopard disk that comes with your Mac to um, basically get your all your drivers set. So what we're going to be using for this is Boot Camp. It uses, um, it's kind of like a dual boot, like with PCs. So if, um, let's just get started, you need those requirements. Otherwise, you can't really get your drivers all set. So I already have it running, but I'm going to show you uh, Windows 7. I have Windows Vista right here. So we're going to want to browse to Macintosh. Then we're going to want to go into Applications. Then Utilities. We are going to want to go to Boot Camp Assistant. Let's just open that up. And um, it allows you to install 32-bit based um, Microsoft Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. So we are going to, in every, any edition, Ultimate, Professional, or whatever. So we're just going to click continue. And um, it's going to prompt us to create or remove um, Windows partitions. So right here, you'll be prompted to select your partition. Um, very simple, just drag this. Um, there's a meter right here. I already have a partition all set. So we are just going to show you how to boot um, from the uh, partition um, once you have your partition made. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to stop recording on the screen because I have to reboot. So let's just hit stop record. Alright guys, we are now with the camera and you can see my MacBook Pro 13 inch and I'm going to go over the requirements once again. You're going to need a official disk, um, like not really an official disk, but one that's activated or not activated. It's a um, normal standard version of ISO. This one's burnt. I downloaded it off of Pirate Bay, but it's not activated, so nothing's wrong with that. Second, you're going to need your Snow Leopard disc um, that came with it. I got a MacBook Pro 13 inch. So we have that right there. Um, you're going to want to have um, probably just my suggestion a USB mouse because once you get it, you need to be able to uh, go into the thing. And the Magic Trackpad does not work very well. And also, um, for IMAX, you're probably going to have some issues with your Bluetooth keyboards and um, alternate displays will not work. Oh, that's weird, it's not zooming in. But I have a display right there, so you're just going to want your plain um, computer and probably USB mouse because your Bluetooth is not going to be supported initially. So once we created our partition, we're going to want to hit continue and um, on the start Windows install it and let's put in our Windows disk and let's make sure it's nice and wiped off. This one's freshly burnt, so um, we'll see how that goes. Just get all the crap off. Insert it in your Mac. So, we're going to want to hit Start Windows Installer once it kind of recognizes that. And um, make sure you have all programs closed so that you can have a nice clean uh, turn off much faster. And let's just uh, close down this. And let's hit continue and it'll start the Windows installer. And you can see right here again 32 bit Windows XP. Um, 32-bit Windows Vista and 32-bit Windows 7 Home Professional, Professional, Ultimate, whatever. And then it tells you right here after you're done, you're just going to want to put in your Mac OS X install disk. So we're going to hit Start Installation, and the computer will shut down. Here we're recording in ScreenFlow. So here we go. And um, now it's going to boot into um, basically the Windows kind of part. So we're going to see it's going to give us the normal uh, press any key to boot from DVD. So we're going to wait for that to come up. 
and it's going to prompt us to press any key to boot from DVD or CD. Guys, and we have this um, all booted up. So it's going to ask us for our normal stuff, so we're just going to click next. And then you'll see our boot camp is right here. Um, you're going to want to look at that boot camp right there. You're going to want to click drive options. Um, sometimes it won't be formatted correctly, so you can uh, go ahead and format it any way you uh, want. And usually uh, corresponding with the operating system, it's usually okay. And um, this will be deleting my old... Uh, my old operating system, my Vista Ultimate. Um, but you're, don't be worried, you can format it. It's not going to screw up boot camp or anything. Um, just do not mess around with everything else. You just want to do this one that says boot camp. So once you do that, you're just going to click next. And I will come back when all this crap is done. Here we have the computer rebooting after um, install. So let's just, uh, I don't know if it fully finished, but let's just see what it does. So we're just going to let that keep going. It's going to boot um, normally. And I believe it's going to prompt us with the setup. And um, it successfully started Windows, so that's very good. <clears throat> So that was just a normal install. It went through and restarted itself. So you didn't really have to touch anything. And you do not want to boot from DVD when it prompts you. You just want to let it be, basically. Once you hit install, you just let the uh, computer let it do its thing. Now we have our uh, setup is starting services. So we're just going to wait for that to finish up. And we have completing installation. So I will come back when that's done. Okay, and we have the computer restarting once again. Um, it's usually depending on your disk uh, how many times it will restart, but several times it will restart, but basically you don't need to touch anything until it actually comes up with your setup with all your login information and all that stuff. But basically you just want to let it boot, and uh, you do not want to boot from DVD. That will just bring you through the whole process again. So, there we have the normal thing. You don't want to eject the uh, disk just yet. So, we are starting Windows. And this should give us, um, bring us up to the install screen. Or the um, setup screen, actually. And it's all right. And we have um, just the normal stuff, username and uh, stuff like that. So I'm just going to do a Sheridan next, and I'm going to type in my password. Okay, we just did the password. We have um, security threat crap, and um, it's going to ask us for our security. So we're going to just do that. I mean, um, not security, but our Wi-Fi. So let's just do that. I'm going to click Next, and it's going to insert our network. And it's finalizing uh, settings, and just wait. And we should have the normal Windows 7 um, setup. 
And now the first boot, it's going to have no drivers. It's going to be like trying to use it without drivers is really just uh, not doesn't work. Not worth it. If you don't have your disc, it's not even worth trying. Um, I mean, I guess you can try it downloading the uh, drivers somewhere else, but. So next thing, you're just going to want to have your Mac install disk ready. Here we go. Our Mac install disk. Just have that ready. And now we have the um, actual screen. And you're going to notice that it looks like crap, the uh, screen resolution. So let's go ahead into control panel and let's just adjust that. Um, you can see that everything kind of sucks. Um, we're just going to bring our resolution all the way up. That's what I prefer. And then our, um, we're just going to do that. And now we have that set up. We're going to go into um, our my computer. And we are going to want to eject this. Now there's no other way you can eject it but um, right clicking it and using a USB mouse. That's why I say that it's easy to navigate around when you don't have all your drivers correctly installed. So once you plug in your USB mouse, you'll be able to instantly um, take care of this. So let's eject that. So here's the Windows 7 disk um, that we just used to install. And now we just want to take our MacBook Pro Snow Leopard. Let's just uh, throw that in there. So I'm going to try to keep this up. Um, keep this uh, looking pretty good. I mean, uh, not the best screen quality, but I'm not going to do a screen recording when I just installed the new operating system. So we're just going to let that load up. And here we have it. Um, it'll recognize it as a boot camp. We're going to click... Um, yes. And we're actually going to want to right click that with our mouse. And we are going to want to actually... Um, let's see. Uh, open. We're going to want to open. And then you'll see this boot camp file right there and then you'll see setup it looks like a normal Mac setup we are just going to clip setup and then yes now it's going to run through this we're going to say this program um, yeah we're just going to go into yeah it's right here so we're going to click next I accept next install so that is going to run for quite a bit, so I'm going to come back when that's done. Okay, and we have finished our installation, and we're going to want to um, restart. But before you do that, I suggest going over to computer, and um, none of your drivers will really be working 100%, but um, not yet, until you restart. But you're going to want to eject your disk. That way you have nothing in there and it's booting just from your hard drive. So we just pulled that out. And uh, now let's just go ahead and restart. And it says restart over here. So um, better off doing that. That restart. And now we are restarting. We can pull out our USB mouse. And we are done with that. And we also should be a allowed to, um, also when you're um, booting, you're going to want to click the Alt Option key right down there to select your partition. That is something I didn't know when I first did this. So you can see right there, you can use the arrows right down there to select your partition. We're going to click Windows, and uh, that... Apple icon, you're going to notice that your Apple icon isn't normally like that. Now you're going to want to, uh, if you want to do that, I may do a tutorial, but it's simply just changing your normal partition um, icon. So very simple. So right now we are starting Windows, and um, 
yeah, so this um, completely without booting, only the hard drive, not booting from DVD, of course, I mean. And we will have all drivers now, so I'll show you um, just a few basic things, pairing our Bluetooth keyboards and hooking up our alternate display, showing that all our drivers basically work. So let's just wait for this to um, finish booting. Pretty fast boot um, in all your, um, no matter what your, um, whatever you have for uh, RAM, your processor, everything is supported up to its full ability and everything is going to be working excellent. So here we have, we have a little help window that first comes up. But let's just look if we um, right double tap our two finger tap down here on our trackpad, it's going to bring up our right click. So that's very cool. We got our internet, our network drivers. Usually network drivers work by default because they're just um, normal stuff that comes with like PCs. But you can see right here, we're just going to close out of that, our internet works. So I'm going to show you some basic stuff. Uh, easier. Let's get our display going with our mini display port. Oops, let's not hit the camera. That was uh, pretty stupid. Well, let's plug in our mini display port. And now we have our display up in there in the background. Now you can also do your alternate displays and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, very simple, very basic. You can also do your multiple displays. And let's just try this. And we have our um, display, just getting that all set up. But yeah, guys, drivers work 100%. Even your eyesight camera works, which is a really, really nice um, addition. Let's go ahead and uh, can I show you that uses the camera? I mean, there's not really too much that will use the camera, so but it does work. I have tested it on my Vista. So guys, this was showing you how to um, get Bootcamp running on your Mac. So uh, or actually install Windows on your Mac. So I'm just going to show you one last time booting into Mac, showing you that everything works 100%. And I know that this tutorial is very long, but, um, yeah. So just going to hit the normal power button. Going to boot, and you click your old option key down there. Now I'll bring up your partitions. And we'll just hit enter to boot into Mac. And then you'll be greeted with the normal Mac Apple logo. And so let's just let that boot. Okay, we have my Mac all back here working a hundred percent let's show you um... let's pair the bluetooth keyboard now that should be fine actually i think it's um... already paired so let's just uh... set this stuff up got all my normal stuff working and yeah so that was a tutorial on how to set up bootcamp on your MacBook Pro, your iMac, or whatever such you have. I'm not sure how well it works on your MacBook Air or so. But um yeah, so here we are back in our Mac side. And um that's basically it. So guys if you want any more tutorials tell me how this one was. It's uh never done such a long tutorial and such a complicated or more not really complicated but a long drawn out process. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. iOSforlife.com, that is in the description. Um, that's the website where you'll find everything Apple and iOS news. And uh, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash MrAJstech. It's also in the description, so check that out. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.